Hey, hey, saving my coin budget friends. It's your girl Shlisha and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about saving money on a low income. So if this is your first time seeing my video, hey, thank you so much for clicking on it. If you're a returning subscriber and oldie but goodie, hey, hey, thank you so much for coming on back. So guys, I am super excited to do this video because saving money has not always been at the like super 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 forefront of my mind but after last year like the last six months of last year things came up one after another after another after another and life was lifing so um we made it through everything that needed to be taken care of was taken care of but i like not feeling uneasy um, so I definitely want to focus on saving this year um, so in we are going to see how much we are going to potentially save um, with all of my savings challenges to get us through I don't want to say through 2023 but we are preparing ourselves for um, anything that comes up through through 2023 so these savings challenges are in addition to my sinking funds remember my sinking funds are for things that are going to come up throughout the year so birthdays Christmas back to school car registration so these are already expenses that I'm going to have to pay for the savings challenges are going to be for like emergencies or something happens and I need to take it out of my savings and out of my income that I need to pay for bills. So we are going to go ahead and we are going to see, take a look at the savings challenges that are in the Saving My Coin Budgets Financial Planner, as well as see as what our goals amounts are going to be to see how much you would be saving in 2023. So guys, come on, let's flip through. All right guys, so we are in the back of my Saving My Coin Budgets Financial Planner. Um, so this is after the 12 month, 12 months uh this is your like congratulations you did it um so here is where we are going to start our all right guys so we are in the back of the saving my coin budgets financial planner so here is just your congratulations you did it and we are going to start our savings challenges here so we're going to calculate and see how much we are potentially going to save if we complete all of these savings challenges which I really, really, really hope we can complete, but if we can't, it's okay. I, I have grace for myself to know that sometimes things happen and you know, saving a little bit of something is better than nothing, okay? So this first savings challenge is called the money pot. So we are adding $5 to each pot when we get paid. Yeah, it didn't happen this past paycheck, but it's okay uh five dollars to each um pot every time we get paid and that is going to total two hundred and ten dollars um i do not have a goal date yet um i think once i get into the rhythm of you know maybe this month of seeing how the finances um play out i'll start putting goal dates here but I don't want to limit myself either because if I don't reach a goal date, then I'm going to be very hard on myself. So we'll see. Um, this one is a debt snowball tracker. Um, I don't have a specific amount that I want for here. I just know that if I utilize a credit card um, and it has to be like an extensive amount, like if I have to, God forbid, you know, get a stove or something on my Home Depot card, uh, that is where I would start my debt plan for debt snowball. But as of right now, the credit cards that I'm using, I'm able to pay off. Um, so it's not really like a huge debt, but I might start using this for my house. Start getting ready to pay my house off. So next uh, challenge is the gumball savings challenge. Um, so it is to save $460. So we are going to save one gumball each pay period. So that totals $460. So that brings us to $670 so far, y'all. Okay. All right. So next is the Let It Grow Savings Challenge. Um, so these are just, y'all, look at these money pots. They are so cute. Um, so it is, uh, it's time to grow our savings. I'm sorry. It's time to grow our emergency fund and let's grow it over every pay period. So each money pot is worth $20. 
um, for a total of 800, y'all. That one's gonna be a, yeah, that one's gonna be a doozy too. So we are at 1470 so far. That's not bad yet. So this one is Savings is Sweet with our little cute little honey pots. Um, so this one is to save money, let save each honey pot each pay week. Uh, for some people, it may not be every pay week. Some people, it may be whenever they have some leftover money or they're rolling over money from their cash envelopes if anything is left. Um, so to complete all of these honey pots, your total will be $1,509. So that brings us to $2,309 so far. Y'all, ooh, I didn't know these numbers were so, <laughs> were so up there, okay? Uh, next is the Roll It Up Savings Challenge. Um, so this is going to be saving your change from your cash envelopes every Friday. Um, so if it is three, to, three cents you're putting towards uh, your roll it up savings challenge and you're putting it in a jar, or if it is, um, you know, you get 75 cents back from a transaction, you're just gonna be putting all of that money into uh, your roll it up savings challenge. Hold on one second, guys. Okay, y'all, I am back, I am sorry. Um, I had a package delivered so for the roll it up savings challenge so i would like to save probably around 250 dollars to 300 dollars because i had saved 316 um in 2023 no 2022 um so i would like to save let's just say 300 dollars in my change for the roll it up savings challenge oh yeah so next is going to be the promises rainbow savings challenge so it says save a part of the rainbow every paycheck until completed save towards the promise of financial freedom uh so there's two so this one is a little bit higher and this one is a little bit lower um again this is geared towards those that are low income um and can't save you know eight thousand to ten thousand dollars um so let's see so we got five plus ten Oh, y'all, I lost my number. All right, I'm gonna go back and do that do that part off camera and I'll let you guys know the grand total. So we got five plus 10 plus 15 plus 20 plus 25 plus 35. All right, so first rainbow is $110. Uh, plus this one, which this one is a little bit lower in the amount, if you can see. All right, so we got two. So we got 110 plus two, plus four, plus six, plus eight, plus 10, plus 12, plus 14. Y'all, I don't know why the freaking numbers cannot just work. Like, come on. Am I doing something wrong with the calculator? Like, I'm, I'm college educated. I should know how to work the calculator, right? <laughs> All right, so 2 plus 4 is 6. Plus another 6 is 12. Okay, so we have 12. And then plus 8. Okay, it's 20. Plus 10 is 30. Plus 12. No, plus 14. 44, okay, and this one was 110. Okay, so we got 154 for the Promises Rainbow. Next is the Let's Celebrate. So this one is Let's Celebrate color each and save $10 for each icon for a special occasion. So we got birthday, Christmas, Easter, any form of celebration, baby, wedding, anything you can eat cake at, y'all. Um, Valentine's Day, Thanksgiving, graduation just a party and then this one is halloween so this one is to save 120 dollars oh yeah okay so next is the rainy day fund and for the rainy day fund um it is just getting in the habit of saving if this is someone's first time trying to save money um or if you have saved money before and you had to use it um so this one is a lower amount so we have the clouds which are uh, ten dollars each and then we have the uh, puddles which are five dollars each and then the rain boots which is a two and a five so this whole track um savings challenge is worth sixty dollars so like i said we have some that are lower and we have some that are higher okay next is the self-care 
savings challenge um, and this one has quite a bit of different numbers the lowest is one and the highest is 44 so that's not too too bad all right so we're gonna calculate it but I'm gonna write this number down here 334 which is what we were at so far so we have um, just self-care of just giving yourself a hug listening to music loving on somebody whether it's your children you know your boo thing whoever you got in your life um burning a candle you know incense just relaxing next is coffee because for some people self-care is having a cup of coffee okay for me sometimes it is next is taking a bubble bath y'all i love taking bubble baths um and then tv for some people is one eating me that's self-care for me eating a good meal yes books is 22 y'all i need to read more books uh next is 37 if you like to travel if that if you consider your self-care traveling perfect for you 37 shopping for some people is self-care but we gotta do it on a budget and then if exercise is your self-care that's 44 okay so with this challenge though, you do have to double the one that is your favorite. So for me, my favorite would be eating out. So instead of me putting $30 into eating out, it would actually be $60 into eating out. So um, if we are just doing the amounts that are on this paper, it is $208. And then we are going to do the amount from what we had before. So we are at 542 and don't forget, I have to go back and um, get those other ones uh, so this one is a no spend challenge so this is not saving a specific amount of money it is just get, being in the habit of not being able to spend in one particular month and then the last one is fall in love with saving okay so when it comes to this one I am putting this towards my emergency fund this one is a little bit more of a broad canvas you are able to put your own amounts in here um i just chose a th uh, three thousand dollars because that's what i want my emergency fund to be um and i'm just going to do the whole entire year of 2023 to do so um so like i said my amount is three thousand dollars okay so we are at three thousand five hundred and forty two dollars um but then like i said we're going to go back and we're going to do the ones that i cleared out so we have 210 for the money pot Uh, debt we didn't have an amount for we're gonna do 460 oh my gosh yeah we're over four thousand dollars already um let it grow is 800 and then saving is sweet was 1509 dollars oh y'all oh my gosh and then for roll it up i said i wanted uh 300 Y'all, I kind of want to up it to maybe four. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to say 300, 350. 350 is going to go. Okay, guys, so with the with the savings challenges of me just not putting any extra, again, this does not include the extra that is from the uh, self-care savings challenges, just doing all the regular numbers, it is going to get us to $6,871 for the month. Y'all, that would be incredible to have whatever emergency come up god forbid there is an emergency first of all god forbid there is one but something's going to come up but to be able to have that amount of money and whatever comes up is paid for in full in cash not on a credit card y'all that makes homegirl excited um so as this year is going we are just going to Put, you know chip away little by little you know towards these savings challenges and I don't know what this year has planned but I do want to at my goal is to complete all of them truly is to complete all of them but I know life is gonna happen so I'll be happy if I fully complete eight of them if I complete eight of them and some of uh, some other ones I'll be happy but we're going to see what happens. We're going to see. Hopefully, we finish all of them. So, guys, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Let me know what is your goal to save for 2023. If you are doing the 100 envelope challenge and was at $5,051 or 
fifty dollars if you're doing the you know 52 week savings challenge if you're doing a 26 week savings challenge if you are doing a savings challenge book let me know y'all what is your savings challenge goal for 2023 i'll talk to you guys in my next video i love you be blessed bye